You're good. Over the last few years, we've seen a big increase in ethanol production in the United States, and that's, realized, that's resulted in a lot of distillers' grants being available for livestock producers. As beef producers, that's a big advantage to us <laughs> because we can utilize it very well. Uh, our cattle perform quite well on it, and it gives us an alternative feedstuff, especially when corn prices get high. One of the questions that's come up, though, is what's the effect of distillers' grains on meat quality? Uh, distillers grains has about three times as much fat as corn, so we're putting more fat into the cattle as, as we're feeding them more distillers grains. Most of that fat is unsaturated fatty acid, is unsaturated fat, which is uh, a lot of consumers believe that's a better fat than saturated fat, and it, it generally is. Uh, omega-3, omega-6 fatty acids are better for uh, human nutrition, human health, and that's what is in uh, distillers grains. The problem is that unsaturated fatty acids also cause a, a softer fat compared to saturated fatty acids, which are a harder fat, and that can lead to reduced shelf life, increased oxidation of fat, and may also cause some negative effects on flavor. So some of the studies that we've been doing have been looking at that and have basically found that when we replace corn with distillers grains, we're going to affect the tenderness, somewhat the tenderness, more so the flavor, the shelf life and fat oxidation uh, of the meat and more specifically of the fat. Now one alternative is the new, I guess next generation distillers grains that are coming available from some of the ethanol plants. They're using fractionation processes to separate the starch, the oil, and the fiber uh, and use the starch for ethanol production, the oil for biodiesel production, and the fiber can be used for other feedstuffs or possibly for cellulosic ethanol production. What this does is it's going to cause a different distiller's grains. It distiller's grains with higher protein and less fat. And some of the studies we've done have compared diets with the uh, next generation distiller's grains, with conventional distiller's grains, and also with a, a corn-based control with no distiller's grains. And basically what we found is any negative responses that we see with traditional distiller's grains are alleviated when we use the the next generation distillers grains with less fat. So it's a potential alternative to get around some of the negative meat quality aspects that we see with distillers grains.